everyone, Propylene Brothers is back in D15 and today we are bringing you to the Tolok Purao Enclave where we have a freehold boutique project called The Veranda. Now we have a super spacious and rare 2 bed 2 bath unit sized at 1,087 square feet for you today. With $80,000 worth of renovation pumped into this beautiful home, if you are someone that is looking to stay in this charming East Coast region within Telok Kurau that allows you to enjoy great amenities and convenience with privacy and tranquility, let's head up to take a look at this unit. Let's, let's go! go. Welcome to Veranda. So let's touch on some of the facts of this particular property to allow you to understand this project better. Veranda is a freehold boutique project that has an apartment status that TOP in the year 2004. Developed by our established Roxy Homes Private Limited, Veranda is sitting on a land size of 2102 square meter with a total of five stories. With the first story being the sheltered car park, it is also built in a C-shaped structure. Well, the unit that we are in right now is actually in the middle of the C-shaped structure with three separate lift lobbies. And on each level, there are only two Two units. With a total of 24 units, this will mean that we will be able to enjoy the exclusivity of the community and also to enjoy the privacy and tranquility of the environment itself. For us, our units is away from the road and also facing the pool plus the playground. In terms of unit types, there are a good mix of two bedders and three bedders that caters for a variety of lifestyles including families and young professionals. And for us to enjoy this particular environment with this tranquility, the MCST fees is only at a mere $370 per month. So without further ado, let's quickly take a look at the floor plan of this well laid out, generously sized two bedroom units that is standing at 1087 square feet. Entering from the door, we have a very spacious dining and living area that is rectangular in shape and comes with an attached balcony in the centre segment of the house. The ensuite master bedroom and common bedroom are located on one side of the living and dining hall space. But on the other side, nearer to the entrance, we can find the home shelter, kitchen, yard and common bathroom. Within the house, there is no wasted space in between the layer of this particular unit. So with that, let's have Alex to show you some parts of the home tour before we share more on the pricing analysis. So once you enter the unit, you'll actually be immediately struck by the sense of brightness and space. So if you're wondering how come this unit feels extra spacious, that's because even with four ceiling done, the current height of this place from the floor to the four ceiling is at 2.9 meters. From both sides, you can see that there's natural light streaming in, creating a very airy and expansive ambience. So if you look at the floor tiles as well, you might realize that this is actually not common because they have actually used particularly large tiles. So when you actually use this kind of big size tiles, it actually adds a touch of luxury to the entire unit. So one great thing about our unit is that it's actually in move-in condition because the owners have actually renovated this less than three years ago and they spent about a total of $80,000. So coming into the living room, you can see that over here we have the couch placement followed by the coffee table as well as the TV console and the TV in the front. Now you notice that one very great thing about this is that not a lot of built-in cabinetry has been done which means that when you come to this house, you can actually have the creative freedom to design this living room up to how you like it. Now to the right of the living room, we actually have access to the balcony. Let's go take a look. I feel that the size of the balcony is really very nice. You can see that they have decked it up so that it's all level, same as the living room. Behind me, we have this very beautiful black and white colonial blinds that have already been done up as well. Now currently, this space is actually used for gardening. So those of you with green fingers, this is the perfect space for you. The flat and safe design of the floor makes it safe for children and elderly. And if you look down, you actually find that this is an internal facing, facing our pool below. So it is very quiet overall. So one idea you can definitely consider for this space is to actually enclose it with zip track so that you can actually expand your living room area to make it a bigger space for you and your family to enjoy. So next up, let's take a look at the location analysis of Veranda and where we are actually located at. Veranda is sitting along Lorong K Telok Kurau, right beside Telok Kurau Road, which allows you quick entry and exit to the main road itself. With Telok Kurau being located right between Katong Juche area and Siglap, this allows you excellent accessibility to convenience and amenities. For public transport, we are only 2-3 to three minutes walk away from the nearest bus stop along Telok Kurau Road that has bus services that brings you to Pasiris, Bedok and Yunos MRT Station. And for drivers, you will also be happy to find out that we are only 3 minutes drive away from ECP and also 5 minutes drive away from PIE. And one of the greatest news for this particular area is that in June 2024, Marine Terrace MRT 
there is a long Thomson East Coast line will be stipulated to be in operation by then. And this will mean that we are only 15 minutes walk away from this particular MRT station which allows you to have quick accessibility to the CBD area. In terms of amenities, you have places like PLQ Mall, Paya Lebar Square, Singpo Center, Parkway Parade, I-12 Katong, Kinex Mall, Bedok Mall and many many more. With all the new cafes that are sprouting up around this East Coast region, this will also allow cafe lovers to be able to explore many different types of cafes around the area. And for outdoor lovers who enjoy their morning and evening runs or walk or even cycling activities for your family, you'll be able to reach East Coast Park just within 5 minutes drive away. And for young families with primary school going kids, you'll be glad to find out that they are also very very well known school within one click radius of where we are located at. Schools like Tao Nan, CHIJ Katong, Hate Girls and also St. Stephen's schools. <music> the entire dining area is in close proximity to another set of windows, bathing the entire place in the very natural sunlight. This also makes the place very inviting for you and your friends to have a cosy meal. Now because our unit is blessed with a very big floor space, one idea you can have is actually to enclose this space behind me should you need a study. By putting up perhaps black frame glass doors and putting in a stylish desk and an ergonomic chair, you can actually convert this into a very functional work and study space. Now as we head into the kitchen, you can see that our owners have actually opted for an open kitchen concept versus the previous one where it was actually enclosed. So the highlight of the kitchen is definitely this beautiful island table that stands in the middle bringing a very fresh and updated look to the entire kitchen. So having an open concept kitchen actually helps to maximise the amount of natural light coming into the unit and also in addition this actually helps to enhance interaction because of this open space in front of you. Right behind me is also the home shelter. So one thing to note about this particular home shelter is that our owners have actually levelled it up as well for safety and the size of it is good enough to turn it into a helper's room. Now heading towards the back of the kitchen, this is where you actually house your fridge. The cabinetry has already been done along this side of the wall. Now one good thing to note is that when the owners were doing renovation, they actually made all these into drawers. They are all very easily accessible because all you have to do is just pull the drawers out. So this kitchen has already been equipped with a two burner induction soap, ensuring that it's safe as well for all to use. We're moving in now to the open yard area. Now this used to be an enclosed space, but now our owners has also made it an open area. Above me, we actually have a Steigen rack already installed and this is great for drying your clothes because we're just located next to the window which is great for ventilation. Now tucked discreetly in the yard is also the entrance to our common bathroom. So just an interesting thing to share, previously before the renovations, the entrance of the bathroom was actually located right over here. So this means that when you enter through your front door, your common bathroom entrance will actually be visible. So while having the common bathroom door here is indeed very convenient, the owners actually wanted to enhance the flow and the aesthetic of the house. And hence during the renovation process, they actually took the chance to relocate the bathroom entrance so that it's tucked discreetly behind in the back of the kitchen. So as you can see, the bathroom has already been renovated and updated to give it a very clean and modern look with a touch of colours to brighten up the room. Safety features have already been done as well, so if there are elderly who are moving into this unit, this is perfect for them. And tucked above the mirror, we also do have a ventilation window so you never have to worry about moulding issues. So before we show you the rest of the home tour, let's take a look at the pricing analysis of the whole of D15 and also within the vicinity of veranda. If you're someone that is looking specifically for a freehold two-bedroom above 1,000 square feet in size, starting from Tanjong Ru, freehold projects like Park Shaw, TOP in 1995, size above 1,000 square feet starting from 1,900 odd PSF, price quantum of around $2 million. One area that consists of good amount of freehold projects would then be Fort Road, Margaret Road, May Road and Amber Road, TOP between 1983 to 2016. PSF will be ranging from $1,008 to $2,007 for the newer projects. We will then move to the Juchit and Katong area. Prices here will generally start from $1,004 for projects before 1990 to $2,003 PSF for the newer projects. And lastly, with Teluk Kurau located in the heart of District 15, for single floor plate, two bedroom units that has a floor size above 1,000 square feet, at this moment of shoot, we will be only one that is available within the vicinity. And rest of the units that are above 1,000 square feet will only be units that are either penthouses duplex or patio units. Further look into the rest of the single floor plate two bedroom units, we will notice that two bedroom units available right now are generally sized below 1,000 square feet within this area. And with the asking PSF ranging between 1,005 odd to 2,001 odd PSF, this then creates a great disparity effect in comparison of the PSF pricing. And with this disparity, it will then means that there are room that allows good growth for our unit. Hence, if you're someone that's looking for generous space, single floor plate two bedroom units that is above 1,000 square feet, potential to craft out the third bedroom or even a study, this unit here at Veranda might be one of your choice. Now, 
as we explore the rest of the unit, you notice that one thing I really love about the house is that the bedrooms are actually tucked on one side of the living and the dining area, providing a dedicated space for resting as you are away from the other active area of the house. Let's check out the common bedroom. Now the size of this common bedroom is actually very good. We actually have one single bed placed along the side of the wall. But you can see that given the width of the room, you can easily place another single bed on this side. Do you want to put a queen or king size bed? Definitely no issues at all. So one of the main highlights of this room is that we do get a lot of light coming into the room thanks to all these windows. We are facing a bit towards the west at this side, but thanks to the building opposite us, you're not going to have the sun rays directly hitting into your unit. In fact, thanks to the latch placement over here, this actually ensures that your sunlight doesn't penetrate directly into the room. And as you can see, blinds already have been done for all the windows in this room, ensuring that you have some sort of privacy and control over the amount of light that you want entering the room. Both the common and the master bedroom also enjoys this beautiful parquet flooring. And now let's go see the master bedroom. Currently, the room actually has a queen size bed along with two side tables, but should you wish to be more comfortable and have a king size bed, this room definitely will be able to accommodate that. Now, along the side of the bedroom is where you get the windows, which allows for natural light to come in, but for more privacy, the owners actually chose to have frosted glass on the lower level of the window panels. Coming over to this side as well, you notice that we have a three door panel white color wardrobe that has already been built in for your clothing needs. One nice thing to note is that for both your common and the master bedroom, you actually do enjoy a very good height of about 2.9 meters. You also notice that there are no other heavy built-in cabinetry as well, so this means that you can actually do up your bedroom to your desire. And now let's take a look at the ensuite master bathroom. So this bathroom, as you can see, has also been renovated and has been carefully designed with accessibility in mind, yet still having a sense of modern aesthetics. So design-wise, this is great because it actually caters to the diverse needs of various kind of residents, yet at the same time still maintaining a touch of modern sophistication. So above the sink, you already have a mirror cabinetry already done. Behind me, you have a sliding door with a attached shower behind. And what's great is that next to the shower, you actually do have two very big ventilation windows, ensuring that this place is always well ventilated. So once again, this is a freehold single floor plate, two bed, two bath unit at Veranda, located along Lorong K, Teluk Prau Road. Generously sized at 1087 square feet with $80,000 worth of renovation already pumped in, with an asking price of $1.85 million negotiable. Within walking distance to the new Marine Terrace MRT station, there's a Long Thompson East Coast Line that allows you great accessibility for convenience and amenities. So if you are keen to view the unit, do give our listing managers a call. Our numbers are right below. Thank you for staying with us throughout this home tour. Do remember to click and subscribe to our Property Dean Brothers YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. I'm Alexa. I'm Seng Huat. Property Dean Brothers, always, always happy, happy to show you the place. place. So, with the bathroom entrance now clip <laughs> from here. <laughs> okay. And now let's do this a second time because the first time we didn't turn on the lights. So with that, let's have Alex. Alexa, Alexa. One look. Okay, then. Owens one. Yeah. Levans, 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 Levans. So let's first take a quick big, 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 big. Okay.